Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Christian here back at you for a brand new vlog and as you guys can tell the Yeezy Boost 350 V2s are getting a restock. Yes, it's happening. Am I happy about it? No, because I'm a hype beast and I like the fact that I have this limited edition Yeezy already and I don't want more people to have them, as selfish as that sounds. But yeah, they're getting restocked on June 24th, uh, confirmed by Yeezy Mafia on Twitter, and then Soul Collector and all the other sneaker blogs have picked up this information. And apparently, the olive colorway of the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 is not set to release on June 24th anymore. They are apparently getting rid of that release and they're replacing it with the restock. If you don't want to pay resale on these amazing Yeezy Boost 350s, now's your chance to get them again for retail. I'm curious, what do you guys have to say about these Zebra Yeezy Boost 350 restocks? I'm, I'm not too amped about it, but let me know in the comments down below. With that said, I'm about to head to my girlfriend's place, I'm gonna pick her up and we're gonna go out for a little date. We haven't gone on a date in a while and most of you guys on the channel haven't even seen my girlfriend yet for whatever reason and a small minority of people think I'm gay so this will hopefully dispel any ideas you think I'm gay. Oh baby, just look at these things. These things are so sexy. Oh my gosh, yes. And then we got the collar clothing denim to go with them stacks. Oh, those stacks though. We're also wearing my D-Face streetwear uh, cream sweater. This thing, this thing is so soft, so nice. One of my favorite sweaters I have. Uh, I think we're gonna be setting up a rep code soon with them. So sit tight if you want some deface streetwear. We're, we're getting more and more partners. We're get, I'm trying to get my longboard. <laughs> we're trying to uh, we're trying to get more and more partners on the sneaker talk team. So we got Kenchi Toronto. If you guys want some vape, uh, you can use my rep code coming out very soon. So stay tuned for that. And uh, if you want some deface streetwear. Discount code coming soon for that too. First day breaking out the black toe ones, breaking it out on a date night, and uh, we're gonna longboard in them, of course. The thing I love about Air Jordan 1s is that they look good the more you wear them. So I can beat these up and I intentionally beat up my Air Jordan 1s but I don't care because they're always going to look good. And my girlfriend actually has a pair of Air Jordan 1s. I got her some ones for Christmas. However, she has yet to wear them. So I think she's waiting. She's like making such a sneakerhead decision, but she's waiting for just the right day to break them out. Either a special occasion or the weather's gotta be perfect. I'm low key hoping she wears her Jordan 1s for the very first time today. I'm not dead, I'm in my A, cruising down the interstate With a baddie and a passenger that barely knows my name Lately life's been cool as shit, but I hate when people front Hey Nelly, hey freaking out at me dog <laughs> There we go Hey, bye bye What do you think about these ones? They're sh** They're sh** You're just a hater just a hater. You like the breads? I don't need Oh my god, I'm gonna kill you in your Unless sleep. <laughs> so my girlfriend looks really cute right now, but I can't show you guys because it's top secret. But we're here eating. She just slapped my menu. You're so angry. We're eating at Phoenix restaurant. We're gonna get some sweet and sour pork, so we're gonna magically fade into the food. So we just finished dinner. We're here at this bubble tea frozen yogurt place. So... Huge, huge dilemma. My girlfriend stole in the frozen yogurt because it's so Wait, delicious. I, I offered you sharing. Yeah, right, okay. So it has my name on it. They asked like, me to I put gave my- I the kindness of sharing and he takes it from me and almost eats it all. I paid for it, okay. And you she's like- You offered to pay for it. <laughs> I'm to share it. She's taking all of it. She's a monster. Bro. I can't believe this girl. Don't get me. Don't get me. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Really camera shy. So I can't show her to you guys. All right. So this is the day after the date with my girlfriend. And uh, there wasn't too much I recorded that day. So I wanted to add some more content to this video to make it worth your while. I wanted to show you guys two new pickups. One, a pickup that will change my life. And two, a pickup for my girlfriend that's in this big yellow envelope. So with that said, shout out to Amazon Prime because it's Saturday 
and the fact that I can receive something in the mail on a Saturday morning is a blessing. So let me open this up, show you guys what we got. And it is a PlayStation camera, a PlayStation Eye, one of these bad boys right here. My girlfriend is going to uh, possibly start streaming, so I am encouraging her. So I bought this for her, and uh, I'm just looking forward to what might come of it. Um, I'm really, really encouraging her to start streaming. She really loves Overwatch. She's a big nerd, total gamer. And I love watching her play when I'm in her bedroom. Just watching her play is really, really entertaining. So I'm like, yo, you could easily monetize you just playing overwatch and having fun because I'm entertained just by watching her play so I wanted to push her towards streaming on twitch and that stuff so hopefully she gets into it so this is for her and then the second pickup is a pickup that is going to change my life and not too many of you guys know that I got this but it is a pair of eyeglasses you would know I have eyeglasses now if you follow me on Instagram it is at sniggertalkca and uh, snapchat charlie dubnut um, but I haven't really worn them. I don't really need to wear them. Um, this is mainly for distance. So I can see perfectly fine like up close and mid-range. But if it's for a decent distance, like if I'm in a lecture hall in school, uh, the words on the projector and on the chalkboards, they get really blurry for me. So yeah, we got eyeglasses now. I think they look, I think they look pretty good on me. Um, I need a haircut, that's for sure. I've been getting like 10 comments per video now telling me I need a haircut. So I'm gonna get a haircut very soon, don't worry. I also wanted to do a Q&A to this video as well. So I asked you guys earlier today on Snapchat to send me some questions and uh, we got some questions. So let's get into the Q&A. By the way, before we get into the Q&A, if you haven't heard yet, we're doing some sweet Bape giveaways. So check out yesterday's vlog. If you haven't seen it yet already, yesterday's vlog will be linked down below. It's a good one. We have a photo shoot. I show off my dance moves and I buy some Bape and you can learn how to get free vape in that video as well. With that said, let's get into the Q&A. The first question is very fitting. It comes in from Kevin K and this is directly related to the subject of today's video. Are you going to try to cop another pair of Yeezy Zebras since they're releasing another batch of the Yeezy Boost 350 Zebras? Um, I am obviously going to go for it. You mean, why not? Why not try and go for it? And hey, maybe if I get it, I can use it for a giveaway prize on the channel or I can sell it and it'll help fund the Japan trip, which I'm trying to go on, which by the way, if you want to buy some sneakers, you're around size 10 or you want to buy merch, my website sneakertalk.ca, got some merch, got some shoes on there, so check it out. Next question comes in from Eric. What are sneakers you don't like in your collection and sneakers overall? There's not a single sneaker in my collection I don't like because why would I buy a sneaker I don't like? The other part of your question is what sneakers do I dislike overall? Overall, I'm not a huge fan of Skechers, to be honest with you. I don't really like Zara sneakers either. Next question comes in from Harry is so cool. Harry, you're pretty cool. Uh, if you could design a Jordan, what number would you choose and what would it look like? It would probably be an Air Jordan 1. Let's, let's just be honest. What would it look like? Ooh, it's tricky. I want to make like a Bape Camo bread Air Jordan 1 with golden accents. Malachi Williams asks, how did you start your YouTube channel and what was your first sneaker review? I started like eight years ago. I got a video camera. I put it on a tripod in front of my television and then I hit record and then I started playing Call of Duty trying to get cool clips for montages and, and gameplay for commentaries. That's how I started off on YouTube. Before that, I actually uploaded one other video. It was me sea walking. We were stuck at customs in between the United States and Canada. We were on Rainbow Bridge, Rainbow Bridge, and we were just like chilling there. And this was a time where America's Best Dance Crew was very, very popular. I was taking hip hop dance classes and stuff like that. And it actually surprised a lot of you guys in the last video where I was actually dancing because I don't actually suck at dancing. So yeah, that was my very first time. It's just, I've always gotten into YouTube because I've been bored and I wanted something to do. So my very first sneaker review was on the Radii Moonwalkers in the Chocolate Army colorway. I'll have a picture of it come up on screen right now. Next question comes in from, I think, Juliana. Uh, were there any shoes that you refused to wear when you first bought them because they were hype or did you undies them ASAP? I pretty much undies all my sneakers as soon as possible. One sneaker I sort of refused to wear would be the Zebra, the Yeezy Boost 350 Zebras. I didn't really have like the right occasion to wear them. It's like, it's not, it's not a sneaker you just wear just for the fun of wearing. Like, you know, you want to plan out your outfit that day. There's got to be a reason you're wearing the Zebras. You can't just be like, all right, it's Tuesday. Let's wear Zebras. Like you don't wake up and like 
wear zebras like that. I feel like there's definitely some sort of process when you're wearing sneakers that are worth over a thousand dollars just because you don't want to like go out there and ruin your thousand dollar plus sneakers. I honestly don't know how to pronounce your name on Snapchat. Malakd123, he's also a big supporter of the channel. Um, but what is your dream shoe? My dream shoe would be, I, I have my dream shoe, the Brett Jordan ones, but maybe some, maybe the Brett Jordan ones I talked about earlier, those customized. And what other YouTubers do I watch? Dude, I watch too many. YouTube is like my life, so uh, yeah, I watch pretty much any sneaker YouTuber you can think of, and I watch a lot of Overwatch YouTubers, and I watch some vloggers like Casey Neistat here and there, Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, video influencers the list goes on and on and on jack fire emoji asked other than sneakers. What's your favorite hobby? Video games Manji asked me when will host a sneaker talk meetup this summer fam uh, There might be a meetup this this month later in June keep your eyes peeled James chalk asked if you could have any other youtuber sneaker collection who would you want and why? probably Kais Omar sneaker collection and just cause he has so much heat and so much, there's a, there's a good amount of variety in there. He's also a big Air Jordan 1 fan like myself. He also really like Boost. And he just has a lot of really cool rare sneakers that I don't think I'd ever be able to buy uh, just cause I don't have that accessibility. And very last question comes in from Dan Portnoy. Portnoy? 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 I'm not sure. Why don't you go to any sneaker cons? All right, so I've actually been to like five to six sneaker cons in the past. I was at one like two months ago. I had a little meet and greet there, I had a table and everything uh, that is shared with the homies from Apogee Toronto. Shout out to Apogee Toronto, check them out for some dope t-shirts. But yeah, um, if you're talking about SneakerCon from the United States, like the, the actual company SneakerCon, they don't know I exist. They, they don't know I exist at all. Um, so yeah, maybe when they come to Toronto, maybe they'll invite me to the Toronto SneakerCon. Uh, it'll be a shame if they don't invite me to the Toronto sneaker con because I'm from Toronto and I'm the biggest youtuber in the sneaker community from Toronto um, I don't mean to say that like in a cocky way. It's just a fact uh, But yeah, uh, sneaker con doesn't know I exist So uh, it's too expensive for me to fly out to Chicago fly out to London fly out to California fly out to Miami or Florida wherever these sneaker cons are it's way too expensive for me I don't make that much money off of YouTube to justify thousand dollar plus trips every other month or every month I can't do that. I'm not that rich from YouTube. Okay, some people think I'm rich just because I have a lot of sneakers I'm not rich. I am I'm making I honestly make what I would make for minimum wage for the amount of hours I put in like I make minimum wage doing YouTube It's not that luxurious sure you get free sneakers here and there uh, but I work a lot of hours that you guys might not see, so I'm not making a ton of money. But with that said, that's gonna wrap up today's Q&A and Yeezy Boost discussion video. And again, let me know in the comments down below, guys, what do you think about the whole Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebras, the Yeezy Zebras, the Zebra Yeezys uh, coming out once again? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you gonna try and cop? Are you already taking an L? Like, do you just know it's gonna be an L? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll chat with you guys down there. And yeah, make sure you check out my website, www.sneakertalk.ca. Check out my merch, check out my shoes for sale, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. What is the purpose for dreaming at night? night? What is the purpose for dreaming?